The Golden Shell is uh, probably the only slow metal ballad on our album. I think that it's a very you know, classic love metal ballad and um, it tells um, a real tale, um, a real like fairy tale from the Chinese culture that is called the Golden Shell. In my imagination, when Sophia was living in China, she often went to see the Chinese theater. And in my imagination, she was visiting the theater and this um, Chinese fairy tale was just uh, performed on stage. Yeah, this is a tale about uh, um, a guy who was fishing and he found this golden shell and he brought it to his home and this golden shell transferred to um, a beautiful woman and they fell in love. Yeah, she had a, a mother who uh, didn't want them to be together and this mother was from from the marine world and yeah he fought uh, for his love and everything but of course in our metal ballad like everything is more dramatic and sad well because it's a metal ballad uh, but I still would like you to hear it uh, I think that um, this is a song you know that you can listen to when you're walking somewhere in the autumn forest and yeah it brings like this light sadness you know opium mist is the longest track on the album it's nearly eight minutes which is very uncommon for us but i think that it also reflects uh the theme of the song really well uh basically when sophia was traveling um on one of her trips to china she was friends with an old chinese guy and um, they smoked opium because that was pretty common uh, in China back then. They used to just have some evenings when they smoked opium and they had conversations, sometimes even, you know, um, battles about differences between the Ukrainian culture and Chinese culture. And uh, they always argued uh, on some things from the philosophical point of view because uh, as Sophia described, the Chinese were very fatalistic, you know, so they um, they didn't want to change anything for the better and they just went with the flow. And uh, that was very uncommon for her because she was building her story and her life and she went against the system. So this was always something that she couldn't really understand. But actually, like this old Chinese guy, he always said that uh, when Sophia leaves China, she also leaves all the fatalism that it comes with and she will also stop um, smoking opium. And that she would never understand the Chinese culture until, you know, until the very depth. But it's also interesting that when she was uh, leaving China, uh, he gifted her like this pipe box uh, for smoking opium as a gift, which was also very uncommon for the local people because they were they weren't as um, you know hospitable. So they really didn't like people from outside to penetrate into their lives. So yeah, in this song we have a real conversation between Sophia who, when she smoked opium, she also had like these visions of her homeland and this is like the first time when she really experienced a very deep homesickness and this is what uh, you can hear in the lyrics of this song. To create a feeling of the conversation, we also have uh, Thomas Salkinen of Wolfheart as a guest vocalist. Because of his vocals, we have like this strong uh, opposition and the feeling of another culture, you know, and argument that they having between each other, which I really like. I'm very uh, glad how it turned out and how it sounds. And yeah, this is a very long song uh, where you can also hear the atmosphere of the Chinese market uh, and the atmosphere of smoking opium. The last song on the album is called Zenith. We call it Among Us Zenith because this is like the Ukrainian um, title. And actually this song is also in Ukrainian language. I think that this is like one of the 
saddest and most disturbing uh, songs on the album, although it sounds really dreamy, uh, but still, uh, like I said before, Sofia was called Teura, which is translated as the red bird. And uh, in the song, we actually tell the story of the bird that really cannot settle down uh, because this is not something in its nature. This song tells about a bird that is flying home and uh, the bird doesn't have the strength to fly home, but still it does and uh, it's something about uh, the pain of not being able to settle down but still experiencing homesickness and i also can relate to that because when i travel somewhere i really am so glad to discover new places but there is always a point when you want to be back home in the song the bird flies too high and uh, its wings are burned by the heat so to say so yeah it's some kind of a sad song disturbing song but it's also like one of the most philosophical uh, songs on the album and i hope that you will uh, use google translator or whatever to translate the lyrics because um, it's really very hard to describe what this song is about but if you do translate i'm sure that you will understand and that you will also relate uh, to that. I also think that this song is quite uncommon for our sound and it was one of the latest songs to be written and it also ends with a riff that gives you some feeling that it's not the end of the album and uh, maybe, who knows, maybe we will start our next album with the beginning, like the continuation of this riff. <laughs> 